Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about an alternative to Petroff's equation, uh, which we used uh, or can use to analyze lightly loaded bearings. Uh, and I want to talk about loaded bearing analysis now. So in loaded bearing analysis, we define something uh, known as the characteristic um, bearing characteristic number. And this bearing characteristic number S is equal to R over C squared mu N over P. Now you may recall um, from when I was talking about Petroff's equation that these two values R over C and mu N by P are both uh, dimensionless quantities. So this, this resulting bearing characteristic number is also a dimensionless quantity, which means that it scales well, right? And it scales such that we can use it for other problems. We can, we can use it for any kind of, um, say, small bearings, large bearings, loaded, unloaded, all sorts of different things. Um, and, it, and it provides a good means of comparison. Now, the equation itself isn't all that useful unless we actually apply it to something, right? So this is where um, there are some charts in, in the textbook that we use as a point of reference. So I'm gonna bring those over. And these charts uh, basically give us a bunch of different bits of information. So uh, as an example, this first one gives us minimum, uh, you can see on the left-hand uh, side, uh, the y-axis minimum film thickness um, as, a, as a, an output, um, eccentricity ratio, not something we're going to worry too much about, uh, but what shows up on the x-axis is this bearing characteristic number. So it's again, we can, if we can calculate that, we can do a bunch of stuff. So this gives us some interesting information and it's got this other criteria in here of L over D um, and depending what that ratio is tells us some stuff. And there's a bunch of charts like this um, that we might find useful. Uh, there's uh, this one, which gives us coefficient of friction variable. So it's uh, R over C uh, times coefficient of friction. So we can use our characteristic number with R and C to get that coefficient of friction. And again, with this L, L over D um, criteria giving us slightly different lines. Maximum pressure ratio. I'm just kind of going through these uh, position of minimum film thickness, terminating position uh, of film. So basically we can use these charts to like get a pretty good picture of what it looks like inside the bearing and how the oil is um, being dragged in between those two surfaces. Um, some flow rate information and finally flow ratio. So using these charts and based on that one bearing characteristic number, we can go ahead and read uh, a bunch of information about, um, about our bearings. And of course, you know, this is a lot of this is experimentally determined, um, uh, using an analysis that, you know, we, we wouldn't want to carry out by hand. It gives us a lot more, um, uh, functionality if we can use these, these lookup tables, um, in order to find things out about our bearings. So the bearing characteristic number gives us a lot of useful information, allows us to calculate these other quantities. Thanks.